Ah. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. He's going to take in. Oh. This moment. Oh. You, earned it. you earned it. It's your day. You know what? I can't even be mad. I can't even yeah. be mad. <laughs> Here we go. I can't, I can't even be mad. There is one man in sports you do not bet against. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr., who now has more rings than any NFL franchise. He He's got seven and ten tries. I don't want to ever, ever hear again on this show. Patrick Mahomes is better than Tom. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah. The GOAT is the GOAT yeah, yeah, yeah. is the GOAT. <laughs> Thank you. You know oh what, Skip? Start goodness. the show. I can't even I can't even be mad at you today after what they did last night, that demolition. I can't even be mad, Skip. I want to be upset. I'll just give you this. I like your bow tie. Oh. <laughs> That's all I got. That might be the only positive compliment we hear all day. Yeah. Skip, what an entrance. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah you deserve it. He deserves it. About the Super Bowl yesterday, so let's dive in. What is the biggest reason the Bucs won this game? Tampa Bay's defense was outstanding. Um, Skip, I talked to Derek Brooks last night, the great linebacker from the The uh, great Derek Brooks. <laughs> and Brooks, yeah, he called soon. I only think, I think the clock was ticking down and my phone rings. I see D. Brooks pop up. And I was talking to him. He's like, man, that was an unbelievable. You, you, you had to see it to believe it. I said, Brooks, see, I'm watching the game. And I said, I'm, it's going to be hard-pressed for me to see a scenario in which a defensive team had a more dominating performance over historically great offense in the Super Bowl than what I saw tonight. I said, if you go back and you look at the 86 Giants, get what they did to the K-Gun and Jim Kelly, you go back and look at Coach Belichick's team, what he did against the uh, 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 greatest show on turf. Mm -hmm. You look at what the Bucs did against the Raiders. Rich Gannon was the MVP that season. Yep. Skip, there's nothing like this. Mahomes had never not scored more than at least 20 points. Mm -hmm. He was averaging 30 points in the games in which he started. He couldn't get the ball in the end zone. And what came to fruition, Skip, I said, I was concerned because you lost your left tackle, you lost your right tackle, you took your right tackle, put him at left tackle, you yep. put your right guard, put him at right tackle, and then you had to bring a guy that hadn't played all year long in a guard, and it showed his ugly head. They played one, basically one coverage their entire night. Skip, they played cover two. They played cover two. And when you can play cover two... And, and rush four. They you blitzed the fewest times they have all year flew. because they didn't need to. And when they blitzed it, uh, uh, they missed it. They brought the guy, uh, McCole Harmon missed the blitz, Skip. The guy came off his side, and he never turned around. You're talking about the double corner blitz? Yes, they threw a double corner double at him corner right away. Out of cover, a single high yep. safety. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they weren't expecting that, Skip. They didn't expect this. Nobody <laughs> expected them to play exclusively cover two. And the thing is about cover two defense, Skip, you can't throw a team out of it. You got to run them out of it. You got to force them to drop that safety down and so you can get single high safety. They were unwilling, or, or, you know, they got, for whatever reason, Andy just wanted to throw, 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 throw. Mm -hmm. And you got further and further behind yep. Shaq Barrett and JPP. And then Dominican Sue looked like the Dominican Sue his first couple of years in Detroit. He started collapsing the pocket. They let those two inside linebackers flow to the football. And it was good night, Irene. They did a great job. They got physical at the line of scrimmage knowing I got help over the top. So if I get beat, you're not getting deep because they got two deep safety shell. Mm -hmm. Skip, the defense was outstanding. Tom Brady played. Tom Brady did what he needed to do. Skip, there was not one throw where you was like, well, wow, that was a dart. Guys would just throw. They ran the ball just enough, Skip. You see Leonard Fournette, Rojo, and then the play action was wide open. Even the first touchdown to Gronk, what did they do, Skip? Play action, Gronk wide yep. open on, on the slide right out the backside. Mm -hmm. Give the Bucks credit, Skip. I understand people say that's a home field. They could have played anywhere they wanted to play. If Tampa plays like they played last night defensively, they beaten Kansas City in Arrowhead, they beaten them on the moon, they beaten them in Africa, they beaten them yep. in Russia. That was a total domination. Mm -hmm. Give the Bucks credit. Give Bruce Arians, give uh, Byron Leftwich, and Todd Bowles. Mm -hmm. If Coach Belichick got his game plan sent to the Hall of Fame in 1990 for what he did to the K-Gun and Jim Kelly... Every piece of clothing that he had on last night need to be in the Hall of Fame. Because, mm. Skip, that was as great a performance you'll see against a historically great offense mm -hmm. in NFL history. Mm. I agree with every point you just made about Tom, Todd Bowles. Now, back to the question. I'm going to try to calm down and answer this as <laughs> objectively as possible. The single biggest reason 
the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl, and I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth, was that, number one, Bill Belichick pushed Tom Brady out the back door uh, yeah. in New England. That was that was. Oh, you're going, all the way, you're going all the way back. I, I'm going the biggest yeah. picture. You don't doubt the GOAT like that. You don't shame him publicly with stories from inside the Patriots that the whole coaching staff was down on him and thought it was time for him to go home mm -hmm. and call it a career. Right. And then number two, out of nowhere, only 10 months and 14 days ago, think about that. It was only 10 months and 14 days ago. Tom Brady shocked the not just the NFL world. He shocked the sports world. He chose Tampa Bay, the sucking ears who had the, <laughs> the worst the worst winning percentage for a franchise in all of sports. Tampa Bay, who hadn't made the playoffs in 13 years and hadn't won a playoff game in almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah, he did that. But what did I tell you that first day? If you look hard at it, and you certainly agree with this part, they did have two Pro Bowl receivers. Mm -hmm. They did have Mike Evans. They did have Chris Godwin. And I told you right out of the box, they had a defense that came alive the previous years. They fell to seven and nine, mm -hmm. but they came alive over the last six games because the last six, they were ranked in the top five. Mm -hmm. So the makings were there right. of a real live playoff defense right. that that you couldn't see coming quite yet. And there were moments this year I couldn't see it coming. Right. Because it was the middle of a pandemic. Tom Brady has taken his receivers to some park in Tampa and getting run out of the park because they're violating quarantine. Mm -hmm. There was no real offseason. There were zero preseason games. And they tried to start to piece it together as Tom Brady tried to instill and install the Patriot way in Tampa Bay, as I began to call it. And they got off to an OK start. They got all the way to six and two. And he said, no, no, we're not good enough. We have to go get my little man, Antonio Brown. Mm -hmm. Really? Arians is already on the record. Bruce Arians said he's not a fit yeah, in our locker room. Fit. And Tom said, no, I, I, I'll vouch. Yeah. I'll guarantee he will be a fit. I'll make it fit. Yeah, I'll make it fit. And he did. But that first night that AB played, it was a Sunday night game, big stage, NBC game against your arch rival, New Orleans. You lost the opening day at New Orleans. It was the ugliest game of Tom Brady's career. He played the worst of his career. The defense played by far its worst game of the whole year that night because Drew Brees should have scored on his first six possession mm -hmm. against that defense that did not allow Patrick Mahomes into the end zone one time in the Super Bowl. Right. It's impossible. And yet, they lost to the Rams, and then here came Kansas City, and they ended up losing to Kansas City. But I told you, the turning point of the whole season was, if we could see it real quick, Tyreek torched them in the first quarter for 203 receiving yards. How many did he have in the first quarter last night? How about zero? The, yeah, zero. I was going to say, did he have any? And, and here he is. He, on the 17 to nothing TV, TD, he backflipped into the end zone. He would pay for that. Andy Reid flipped. And from that point on, Tampa won that game 24 to 10. Now, they lost the final score 27 24 because the defense couldn't get Brady the ball back one last time with four minutes and 10 seconds left. But that ignited into their bye week a team that started to take off. Mm -hmm. As I said, Brady started to bring that team to a boil. And what did they add in over the bye week? Little motion and a little of what Tom Brady feasted on in New England, a little play action. Because they were featuring more of the run. They got Leonard Fournette more involved in the game. And all of a sudden, last night, he was 10 of 13 for 139 yards on play action. Right. He was lethal. All of his touchdowns came on play action. Because what could they do, Skip? All of a sudden, they could run the ball, and you got to drop Honey Badger down. You got to yep. drop one of those safafeties down. Yep. And now you got Mike Evans running across the route, Skip. He's wide open. You get guy. And think about it, Skip. That's not Bruce Arians' offense. Bruce Arians is not a crossing no. route. He's a no. guy that's throwing the ball over the top of your head. And what they run? Shallow cross, deep cross. Now they turn that into Tom Brady's offense with a pitch of Bruce Arians' okay. offense. So as Fournette said after the game last night, Tom started group texting us late at night, we are going to win this game. We are going to win this game. We're going to win this game. 
if you have the goat at quarterback mm -hmm. and you have a lot of young players, especially on defense in the secondary, and Tom Brady is saying, we can do this, you're going to buy it. Right. And they started to buy in because they got talent. It just needed to be brought together to take off. Well, it, the biggest thing that you said, I think the biggest difference, look, there's no comparison between Jameis and Tom Brady. But, Skip, when you're, def when you're asking your defense to play 35, 36 extra possessions, because you figure Jameis threw 30 interceptions, he had five or six fumbles. Five. That's 30. So that's 30. 35 turnovers. So you're asking your defense. So now Tom doesn't turn it over. If you look at it, Tom doesn't turn it over nearly as much. Yep. So when they come back on the field, they're fresh. Okay. They're hungry. So what happened right on schedule? They took off December to remember, and here they go as an 11 and 5 wild card team on the road to Washington, number two defense. You know the rest of that story. Then they go back to New Orleans. That's the number four defense and your arch rival and your nemesis. You know the rest of that story. Then they go up to Lambeau to play Aaron Rodgers, the MVP, who's the runaway MVP at that point. And that was the number nine ranked defense. And you know the rest of that story. And the reason that happened was they had crushed and humiliated Aaron 38 to 10 in Tampa to get to six and two. So they went with great confidence up to Lambeau that some young teams would not have had against Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. And then Brady converted three straight third and longs in the opening drive to go up seven to nothing. And that set the tone at Lambeau. Here came Mahomes. Here came uh, the, the baby goat, if you want to call him, the kid that a lot of people think is already better, the greatest quarterback ever, greater than the goat, Tom Brady. And what happened? Brady took it personally. He had two people that he wanted to show up last night, and that was Bill Belichick and that kid. No, <laughs> nothing personal, but he just wanted to show you at 43, I will outplay Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, and he did. He had a QBR of 82 to Patrick's 50. Patrick had a long, hard night, and obviously, all credit to the defense, all <laughs> credit to Todd Bowles, but Tom Brady was magnificent last night, taking what the defense gave him. Because remember, Spagnola's had his number before in the first Eli Super Bowl, so what happened right out of the box? Well, Mike Evans has doubled. Chris Godwin has doubled. He, what if I told you on Friday, Mike Evans will wind up this game with one catch for 31 yards? You'd say, eh, that's not enough. What if I told you Chris Godwin would have two catches for nine yards? You'd say, eh, boy, they're in trouble, right? Well, no, they were not in trouble because Tom says, okay, if you won't give me that, uh, do you remember this guy named Gronkowski? Yeah. Uh, if you're going to single him all night, I'll show you what I can do with Rob Gronkowski, right? right? Mm -hmm. Is he too old? Watch this. And I thought it was very telling that Tom Brady said, I, I went and got three people for this team. I got Gronk, I got AB, and I went and recruited Leonard Fournette. Right. Were they not the three key pieces on offense last night? And all those, those are the guys that scored your touchdown. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they, they were the three <laughs> featured players last night. I made a case that it wouldn't have shocked me if Fournette, Fournette had won MVP, and he was really good last he was night. Great. Hey, because he, he, he caught it. Um, what did he catch it? Four times for 46 yards, and he ran it 16 times for 89 yards. Those are MVP-like numbers. Yeah. I'm still fine with, with Brady winning right. it. It's, it's almost like Brady got it for the whole season, yeah. just, just for what he recreated I in think Tampa. The biggest, you couldn't give it to the defense because so many guys played well. You get Devin White, have 12 tackles. Ta 12 tackles. Two tackles, two he, tackles he had for eight, loss. Eight <laughs> solos and two for – okay, you, you could have gone that direction. <laughs> you got Shaq Barrett that was wreaking havoc all night. And Dominican Sue. So, yep. so many guys played well on the defensive side. It's like, well, okay. But, Tom, right. like I said, I don't have a problem with it, Skip. Tom, Tom did 21 or 29. Didn't have spectacular numbers. No. Nope. But – he made every throw. And the thing, Skip, if you look at it early on, the first drive, they go three and out. And everybody's probably thinking, Tom, you got to make that throw to uh, uh, Chris Godwin. But Tom Brady understands in a game of this magnitude, nope. turnovers, you play double. No risk. I'd rather, I'd rather punt this football away than be a little late and it gets picked six, I, go I back agree. the other way. Totally agree. Remember, Tom Brady led the National Football League in deep passing this year because that's what Bruce Arians does. He had led the league in deep passes, 20-plus yard completions, in the postseason until last night. And what happened? Brady has no ego. He doesn't need to put up right. big numbers. He knows what it's all about. Right. In the end, the only number that matters is seven, as in rings. The only numbers that matter are 31 and nine on the scoreboard. Right. 
And again, he's going to give all credit to Todd Bowles in the defense, to Devin White in the defense. But he knew that it doesn't matter. He doesn't need to throw a party to win the Super Bowl right. unless it's necessary right. to do so. And it was not necessary last night. Skip, you remember I, we, we talked about this. I said, Skip, the team that normally loses the game has the decided advantage because we know what we did last time didn't work. The team that won the game, Skip, why am I changing anything? We did it. I'm surprised Spags did not blitz more than what he did. Yep. It was almost like you're expecting me to blitz. We're going to play it conservative. No, you couldn't get pressure. You got that pressure one time. You got him down one time. Yep. Other than that, Skip, he was able to go to his second, third, even his fourth option. You can't give that guy that kind of time. And, Skip, and I've told you this, what does Brady like to do right before the half? What is his M.O., Skip, right before the half? He's going to take a shot play. Mm -hmm. He's either looking to get the big catch or a pass in the field. Always. Every single time. It's his trademark. Jeez. And what did he do? He got a pass interference on Breland, who was beaten on the play. He was, Skip, first of all, I don't even understand why Andy Reid would even call a timeout. Well, he called two in a row. First of all, Skip, if it's third and 12, I get it. Yep. But you're going to call a third first down two. third and two? To Gronk, again. Go into, you're getting the ball coming out of the half, Skip. You're going to get the ball back. Go into the half, 14-6. 14-6, 21-6 seems almost insurmountable. And I know you you got, oh, right, we got Mahomes, we can come back. But if you look at the way that defense was playing, Skip, every time you go three and out, they gain confidence. They got more and more confident, more and more confident. And what did I tell you? When they got into the red zone, they closed the door. When Tampa got into the red zone, they were three of five. Yep. But they got 21 points out of their red zone possessions. Mm -hmm. Kansas City got zilch. Yep. So just for uh, those who might have just casually watched the game, can I show everybody and remind everybody just how much Tom Brady featured Rob Gronkowski last night? And you cannot tell me that this wasn't in the game plan from Tom Brady because this was for Bill Belichick mm -hmm. to me. Here's the first touchdown. Play action, yeah, slide. Yeah, let's slide. There you go. <laughs> okay. That'll work. That gets you started. Play action. Here's the second one. I thought that was Brady's best throw of the night. Yeah. That had some mustard on it. And and Gronk broke his route and came back inside. This is the third and two play you're talking yeah, about. Yes. That, that saved that drive yeah. at the end of the half that made it 21 to 6. And that's Sorensen. the one down the that's middle. That's your guy. Yep, you see him imagine like Sorensen. What and are that, you doing? That, that was the play before Fournette broke loose. And, the, and, and that really broke the game open yes. early in the third quarter. Correct. Okay? All right. Now to your man, Mahomes boy. Patrick Mahomes. I have all the respect in the world for him. Tough kid. Playing a little hurt last night. I, I don't know if he was laying it on a little thick between plays, limping around. But he might need some surgery on his big toe. Yeah. He has a turf toe. Yeah. Obviously, down his two tackles. He was pressured 24 times last night. The most in Super Bowl history. In history. And Brady was pressured five times. So I'm going to give you all the above. I still thought he was pretty shaky by his standards. He was. And early. I, early, he was shaky. He missed a couple of throws early that I thought were open that could have changed the game or saved the game. The McCall that Hartman point. skip. That was, they ran cover two. And on that sale right to cover two, you can't throw it like a single high safety. You got to throw it between the numbers and the hash. And he put it out there too far. That was a play you got to make. Yep. Uh, uh, Kelsey dropped a key third down. Skip, and when you look back at the time that you do these things, Skip, you yep. don't really think about it because it's so early in the game. Oh, we'll get an opportunity. But it's plays like that that gets you an opportunity to get momentum, to stay in rhythm, to keep you on the field. Mm -hmm. They go three and out. Boom. Okay. Three, and, and Mahomes said after the game, it was the worst beating he's taken yes. since high school. He has to go all the way back to high school. Yes. So it was interesting to me. My wife, Ernestine, comes in after the game. And she's, she's a casual football observer, likes basketball more than football. But her reaction was, I thought Mahomes was great. He looked really bad. Yeah. And our producer, as he said, his mother called after the game and said, gee, he looked really bad. Yes. Well, they made him look bad. They did. But, but I thought <laughs> by his standards, people making the case he's already the GOAT, he's had two subpar Super Bowl performances. That's just me. Just for the record, I don't want to pile on because he didn't get protected. And as you know, any quarterback who doesn't get protected can be made to look awful. As Brady gets the yeah. first Giants Super mm -hmm. Bowl. Skip, but you know what, Skip? He had an opportunity. Tyreek, he had two balls to hit the receivers in the face mask. He did. In, in a game like that, Skip, especially when you're down, you got to have somebody just make a play. Somebody makes a play and gets it going. If you remember uh, uh, 
uh, uh, the Super Bowl of 28-3. Mm -hmm. Guys started making plays. Yep. Edelman gets about the guy almost intercepted. Edelman takes it off the guy and shoot top. Yep. Three guys around him and makes a play. You got to just have somebody make one play for you to get, to get it going. And I thought if he could have got somebody to make a play, Tyreek makes that play, maybe we're having a different story. Uh, uh, you see Kelsey dropping this on third down. He did. You you got to have those, Skip. You got to stay on on the field, especially and give your defense a break. But Skip, this dude was running for his life. I mean, he was taking. I mean, he was taking the snap, and at the snap of the ball, the right tackle was already beat. At mm -hmm. the snap of the ball, the left tackle was already yep. beat. I was like, bro, it's gonna be a long night for you. So it'll be very interesting to see how he and that team bounce back from finally losing. I told you uh, the whole back half of the year, they're on borrowed time. They're on borrowed time. Do they have nine lives or 10 lives or 12 lives? And last night, it finally caught up. They weren't as prepared. They weren't no, obviously no, no, no. as hot they, as, as the Bucks were. Skip, I think the biggest thing is never in a million years did you think a team would line up in a specific coverage and stay in that coverage. Yep. That's what they did. And you got to tip your hat. You just got to tip your hat to them and say, you know what, guys? They balled out. Tyreek said, Todd Bowles did his thing last night. He's yep. like, I'm not giving you anything cheap or deep. And the thing is, all, a lot of the routes that Kansas City have interwoven into the offense, somebody's getting deep. Well, Skip, if I'm playing cover two and you can't get deep, if I can just make you hold the ball for just a tenth of a second, yep. well, I ain't even got to do that because yep. you can't hold up against Shaq and JPP. <sighs> so what's my favorite Tom Brady stat? He had won six rings with six game-winning drives in the fourth quarter overtime. Uh, guess what? He finally had a Super Bowl blowout that did not require a game-winning drive. You can argue the game-winning drive came in the second quarter. The game-winning drive yeah. was when they went 7-3. Yeah. Well, you know what the game-winning drive was, Skip? When Kansas City cut it to 21-9, mm -hmm. and Tom Brady got the ball, and they went right back down the field, 28 said, y'all ain't yep. doing nothing today. Today, today is our day. I'll give you that, but I thought the game-winning drive was at the end of the first half. As, as Michael Vick said about the Green Bay game, oh, yeah, they yeah. won the game on that throw to Scott. Oh, yeah, Miller. you're talking about when they caught Skip. I, Skip, I tweet. I said, Andy, Andy shouldn't have called timeout. Yep. Oh, yeah, he should I said, I'm telling you, mm. because what's going to happen is Tampa Bay was content, Skip. Tampa Bay was content to just go into the half with a 14-6 lead. Yep. He yep. said, oh, y'all call a timeout? Well, let me see if we get this first down. And then what? What do they always do if they get a, four, or a first down skip late and right before the half? They take that shot play. Mm -hmm. That they did against Green Bay. You didn't learn your lesson. Mm -hmm. They did it against the Vegas Raiders. Mm -hmm. Scotty Miller caught two touchdowns. He's looking to get a, a big play or a P.I. Yep. By the way, Scotty Miller had zero targets last night. That's hey. how deep they are at receiver. <laughs> Final point. I got really bad news for you Brady haters out there. You better get used to him. He said he's coming back. Huh? He said he's coming back. <laughs> he said last week he might play, hey, three more years. And they are set up for him to build a second dynasty in his career from New England to Tampa Bay. Yeah. I think, again, Fox Bet has them a slight favorite over Green Bay to win the NFC next right. year. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. Could, well, maybe we'd see a rematch here if these guys could get back up off the mat. Right. I'd love to see that. But the point is, Tom Brady's not going away anytime soon. Well, you know what? And the thing is, they're probably going to be able to uh, – Chris Godwin's probably going to leave via free agency. He's Mike. a free agent, Skip. Uh, Shaq, Barrett's, they're gonna, Sha Shaq Barrett, Barrett has played himself out of Tampa. Someone's going to throw a king's ransom at him. But I believe they'll be able to get A.B. back on the cheap. They'll be able to get Gronk back on the cheap. I don't think anybody on the offensive line is up. No. Uh, Devin White, Levante David – he probably played, might have played himself out of a situation. Mm -hmm. But, Skip, they're, they, they're talented. They're young. The secondary mm. is all intact for the foreseeable yep. future. They, they, they're on the come. They won the Super Bowl, and they're still on the come. But, Skip, you can't commit the penalties. that mm. I tweeted early mm. in the year. Mm. I said, they commit too many dumb penalties. Oh, but we winning. We winning. But what happens, Skip, when you're not winning? You're in a close ball game, mm. and you get 15 yards on Sportsman Light. Mm. You lined up offside. You got three, Skip. You lined up offside on the field goal. Mm. They take the field yep. goal off the board and go get a yep. touchdown. While Tampa Bay was committing very few penalties, <laughs> would they have three? their way. Yep, oh. would they have? Three for three. 15? Yep. That's it. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.